Hey guys, in this video, I'm actually going to teach you how to relink instances of a component to its original component. And a lot of people may consider, well, that's really easy. And people may know how to do that. Well, I'm going to be teaching you something advanced here. Imagine you have a red box here. So this is a red box. I'm going to go ahead and actually make it a red box. Now imagine you have an instances of, the, of this red box and you detach it. Now, how do you link it back? Well, obviously you can use the reattach instance component. If you basically just uh, have the same name, obviously, then it's gonna figure out what the name of the original component is and it's gonna reattach it. So as you can see, it's reattached now. But that's not really that big of an issue. The issue comes when you have a complex component and this is a case that uh, one of my viewers on LinkedIn actually wanted me to confirm and wanted me to help him find a solution. So imagine you have a component like this, like a button component. Now again, we don't really do base buttons now with component properties, but this was his particular use case. So in his use case, he, he has all of these different buttons, but the problem is that we have a base button component that has small, medium, large sizes, and then those small, medium, large sizes are actually used to, uh, are being used to generate the larger button component. So basically the button component has multiple variants and the base button of different sizes is actually being used in the different sizes. So this base button is using the small variant, this one is using the medium variant, and this one is using the large variant as you can see. Now what happens when you detach it? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna show you what happens if we just do it with the small size. So I'm gonna go here with the small size, I'm gonna detach it. So I'm gonna press enter and then I'm gonna actually detach the inner instance. So I've detached it. So how do I actually link all of these inner instances of the base button to the larger button com base button component and then also with the particular instance or variant, sorry, that I'm actually looking to link it to? Well, in order to do that, let's see what happens when you actually reattach the instance directly or use that particular plugin. So what happens here is, as you can see, it's being messed up because why? Because it's actually using the large size for the base button, uh, the large inst variant in the base button component, which is not something that we want. So what happens when you actually want to go ahead and link the exact instance that you want, uh, when you know this is the exact variant that you want to link the instance to, what do you do there? Well, you use uh, the plugin master for that. So the master plugin is this one, I'm just going to show it to you. It's this one, master by Gleb. What you do here is you select the instance that you wanna, sorry, the variant that you wanna link first. So you're gonna say, I wanna pick the target component. You're gonna pick it. So as it, as it says, it saved the component with property small. And then I'm gonna select all of the different um, sizes that are using the small instance of the component. I'm gonna press enter to obviously select the base button. And then I'm gonna go to master again and say that I want to link this object to the target component. And if I do that, this is the magic that happens. Now it's going to go through all the instances one by one, and it's going to link it to the target that I explicitly gave it. So now if you have a look at it, I'm going to go here. I can see this base button is linked to the small, inst small variant that I explicitly picked out. And this is how you do these complex linkages when you have multiple variants involved and a bunch of complex components. So that's pretty much what I wanted to demo in this video. I hope this particular video helps you and the person who was contacting me on LinkedIn. So that's pretty much it. Do subscribe and do hit the bell icon. I'll see you later.